I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can enable collaboration on Wakelet collections. This can be a great way to create a simple digital portfolio or to get some feedback from your students on what they did during the week. So I have this collection I just made. What did you do this week? And what I'm going to do with this collection here, so I'm going to go in and let's say I want to edit the collection. I want to make sure I have my details all straightened out for my students. And it's share a picture with captions or a video that shows what you worked on in class this week. And I'm going to now change it from private to unlisted. And let's save that. And now I'm going to share it. And I can just share that link, but that just gives people the option to view it. What I want to do is add contributors. So I'm going to invite my contributors. Now I can invite them by email. And if my students have email addresses, this is probably the quickest way to do it. Or I can say via shareable link or code. And I can just copy that link and give it to my students and they can use that code. Okay. So they can use that code to now collaborate on the Wakelet collection where they can then add a video or picture. So next I'll show you how your students can add the video or picture. So what we see here is the student went to that link that was provided and they can add their name and now they'll have access to the collection where they can then add the item. So they can now go here and scroll down and click on this add item button and they'll see the option for an image, text, PDF, or Google Drive. Now, if they put a video in Google Drive, they'll be able to connect it and upload it. But there's another way the students can go about this. If I've invited them via email, so let's say I've invited my student Mason to collaborate on this. Now, if you have a bunch of students, you might want to put them all on a mailing list and just copy in that mailing list. So we'll send out that invitation. And now when Mason goes to his email, he'll have a link to join in. So let's take a look at how that works. So now in this case, where the teacher has sent the email to the student to join in to Wakelet, they accept the invitation, and they'll now able to join directly into that collection. And the great thing about doing it this way is that students have more options for adding their content. Whereas before they only had Google Drive and image and text, here we have some more options including a direct YouTube link. So if a student has a YouTube channel and they want to link directly to that or an individual YouTube video that they found, but they also have this option here for a Flipgrid video where they can then click that button and record and talk directly into the computer and that video will get added right into the collection. And that's a great way to have students respond to some prompts or to do something like this here where I've said, what did you do this week and explain it. Now, if you wanna know more about using Flipgrid, I have lots of videos about it on my YouTube channel. So that's how you can enable collaboration on Wakelet collections. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.